So if you've been following along with this tutorial to this point, you will have your server set up and we'll have our test Laravel application deployed on the server. If you are just joining us now because you've already had an Ubuntu server set up, this is the part where we're going to start creating the deployment script using Laravel Envoy. So one final step we need to do is give our deploy user SSH access from our machine. And this will allow us to log in with Envoy using our deploy user and run SSH commands. So just like in the earlier video, we're going to be using our sync and we're just going to copy our SSH key from our newly created user over to the deploy user. So to do that, we need super user privileges because we don't own permissions on newly created users SSH folder. And just like before, we're going to be using rsync and again, archive mode. And again, like before, we want to change the ownership of this folder and its files to the deploy user and the deploy group. So we just do deploy colon deploy. And then finally, what do we want to copy? So we want to copy from the home directory and the marks home directory. And obviously this is the user we created earlier in the series. So whatever username you created that user with, obviously it's their home directory and probably not Mark. And we want to copy over the entire SSH folder. And then where do we want to copy it to? We want to copy it into the home directory of this deploy user. We can just hit enter. Now if we just do an LS and an LA on this folder, we can see we now have the .ssh folder for our deploy user. And great, that now means we can log into this server with our deploy user from our local machine. So I'm just going to open up a new tab here in my terminal. So I'm back onto my own desktop here, and you need to install Laravel Envoy on your system. Now I've already got it installed, but if you haven't, you can install it via Composer. And to do that, it's just a Composer, and you want to install it globally, and we require Laravel forward slash Envoy. And once that's installed, you can just do an Envoy dash V to see that you've got it installed. Now we know Envoy is up and running our local machine, we can start creating our deployment script. So to get started with Envoy, it's actually pretty simple. All we need to do is create an Envoy file in the root of our project. So over in the root of our project here, let's just create a new file. And we need to call this envoy.blade.php. So to do that, we'll just do envoy.blade.php. And this file name is important, you have to keep it exactly like this. And we just hit enter. Now that we have that file, we can start building out our deployment script. So the first thing we need to do is tell Envoy what our servers are and our users to log in with them. So to do that, we can just do at servers. And inside of here, we can pass it a multi-dimensional array of our servers, and we can group them together with a key. And we'll just call this our main server. You could call this production or anything that makes sense to you. And this main server group is going to have one server on it. And that is our deployment server. So we just need to explain to it how to log into that deployment server. So what we want to do is we want to use our deploy user. And then we just need to at and give it our IP address. Just exactly the same way that we do with SSH on the command line. So I'm just going to put the IP address in for my DigitalOcean droplet here. And then that's it. That's all we need to do. So whenever we run anything now, we can define the main group and that will run all the commands on this server as the deploy user. So now we can create something called a task. And this task allows us to group things together that we want to actually run on the server. And then we can run that task via the command line using Laravel Envoy. So let's just do a demo task here. So to do this, it's just task. And just like the Blaze syntax, you just need to close this. So we can do at end task. And then we just need to give this task a name. So in brackets, we can just give this a name. And let's just give this name of list for now. And again, you can call this whatever you want, just something easy to remember by. And then as a second parameter, we need to tell it what to run this task on. So we can do an array, and we want to say on. And then what do we want to run it on? We want to run it on our main group of servers. So we can just do main. Now every time we run this task called list, it'll run these commands on our main server group. So let's just try that out. So let's cd into our directory where our Laravel application is on our live server and list the contents of it. So it's cd and we put ours in var dub 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 html and then I put mine in your domain.com. Obviously you'll change this to wherever you've stored your Laravel code base on the server. And then we just enter a new line of ls 
just to list the contents of the folder so we can see this working. But that's okay for now, let's give this a try. So over in the root of our project on our local machine, we can now tell Envoy to run our task. So to do this, we just do Envoy run, and then the name of the task we want it to run. So I called mine list. So I'm just going to type list here. And this is referring to obviously this task here called list. And then I'm just going to hit enter. And you can see the output here now. So this is logged into our machine as the deploy user. And it's changed directory into where our project sits. And it's just simply listed out the contents. So now we know Envoy is up and working. And it's also connected to our server. So in the next video, we can start building out our deployment script.